Residing in Sumter, South Carolina, Simmons found himself embroiled in a heated dispute with his mother, triggered by her reprimand for playing video games belonging to his older brother. Distressed by the altercation, the 13-year-old opted to dial 911. During the call, he expressed his desire to escape from his family and their household. Officer Sarah of the Sumter Police Department promptly responded to Simmons' plea, aiming to dissuade him from fleeing. I said, you have it good, you have a roof over your head, recounted the officer in an interview with NBC affiliate OIS-TV in May 2014. I told him I would try to help him out, and here we are now. Having joined the department in 2013, Sarah proceeded to the Simmons residence. Upon arrival, Simmons guided him to his bedroom, where Asara began to sense that there was more to the situation than a mere disagreement between mother and son. Upon entering the room, Asara was taken aback to find that Simmons lacked basic furnishings, a bed and other necessities, aside from a black garbage bag containing his clothing. This sight left the officer astonished and prompted him to delve deeper into the matter. Subsequently, Asara revealed that Simmons' mother had been grappling with challenges since relocating from Texas to South Carolina as she cared for an ailing relative. Asara was deeply moved by Simmons' plight and felt compelled to assist him and his family. My heart went out for him, the officer shared with WIS-TV. I thought the little things that he needed I could give him to make him a happier kid. In the following weeks, Asara diligently searched for gifts for the family, focusing on improving Simmons' living conditions. Learning that Simmons slept on the couch or an air mattress, Asara prioritized finding a bed for him. Upon gathering all the items, Asara returned to the house with his brother Ferdinando. They arrived with a truck loaded with presents, intending to furnish Simmons' bedroom. The kid was in tears, Asara recounted to ABC News. He was just in shock, so happy. Among the gifts were a new bed, a chair, a desk, and a television. However, the surprises didn't end there. Another person donated a Nintendo Wii gaming console during Asara's initial search. Therefore, after calling 911 due to an argument over his brother's video games, Simmons now owned a Nintendo Wii. After delivering the items, Ferdinando captured a touching moment between Asara and Simmons outside the house. Inspired by his brother's kindness, despite the overwhelming support, Asara emphasized that his actions were not driven by a desire for publicity. I didn't do this for publicity or to get people to notice me, Asara explained to UIS TV. I did it because I could. It was the right thing to do, and I think people should do things like this. Despite his reluctance to seek attention, praised Asara's selfless act through Ferdinando's. This needs to be shared throughout the country, commented Erica Vore. Thank your brother for his service to protect and serve, and for being such a great person for taking care of a child in need. Marjorie Really Harris echoed this sentiment, praising Asara for his compassion and service. Harris praised Asara's actions as above and beyond the call of duty, highlighting the exemplary nature of the police force. She expressed her belief that there are many other officers who also go the extra mile to help those in need, often without recognition. She concluded by blessing the men who wear the uniform. The story resonated deeply with Sweat, who grew up near Sumter. She was moved to tears by the story and expressed her admiration for Asara's actions. Sweat emphasized the importance of police officers helping and protecting those in need, contrasting these actions with negative portrayals often seen in the media. She believed that the boy would never forget Asara's kindness. Montes echoed these sentiments, calling Asara an awesome officer and suggesting that more officers like him would make the world a better place. She praised his kind-heartedness and dedication, wishing him blessings and protection for making the boy so happy. Despite his already generous gestures, Asara wasn't finished. After delivering the initial items to Simmons' house, he planned to send more furniture, including a mirror and a chest of drawers, for the teenager's bedroom. The two developed a friendship and Asara even gave Simmons his personal cell phone number, demonstrating a lasting bond beyond the initial act of kindness. In 2016, Asara transitioned from the Sumter Police Department to San Francisco, California. Before departing, he expressed his aspirations to continue assisting people in need, inspired by his experience with the Simmons family. I didn't expect this, and I'm not one to gloat or brag or even ask for help. But with all these people standing behind us, we can change a lot of lives, he shared with ABC News in May 2014. Indeed, teenage emotions can sometimes lead to impulsive decisions. However, for Cameron Simmons, his decision to call 911 proved transformative. Beyond receiving much-needed bedroom furniture, he found a friend in Asara, 
illustrating the profound impact a single act of kindness can have on a person's life.